Okay, we draw the supply curve in one of our previous videos. Okay, and I've just drawn it for reference purposes. Now, what we saw in the supply curve in the previous video was that a supply curve is normally moving from bottom to top towards the right. Now, what is the reason? Why is it that the supply curve so moves? I mean, why is it upward sloping? So as to say. Obviously, it is upward sloping because more quantity of goods is supplied as the price of goods increases. This is the price column. Now, why does this happen? There are mainly two reasons. One is the desire to get higher profits. Now, profit basically is a factor of selling price minus cost price. So, selling price is nothing but what? The price of the commodity. So, when the price is more, the profits are higher. So if the price, let's say if the cost is 10, at 10 rupees there is no profit, at 20 it is 10, at 30 it is 20. Why? 30 minus 10 because this is a fixed cost, fixed price I would say, not cost. So therefore the higher the price, the more is the willingness of the producer to sell goods. Now obviously if I am producing goods, I will sell it more as the selling price is higher. So if my stock is 100, you know, given an option, I would like to sell this 100 kg of commodity at the highest price, which is let's say 40 in this example. So that's the reason why the supply curve is upward sloping. The first reason actually. Then the second reason. Now, the second reason is the law of diminishing marginal productivity. Now what this law means is that you know as you produce more the variable cost increases. So let's say I was able to produce 100 kg by employing 5 people. So each person was giving me productivity of 20 kg. If I have to produce 110 kg, then I might need to add on some variable costs. To meet these variable costs, you know, what I will do is, I will sell only at high price which gives me enough profits so that I can cover these and still make some profit. So whatever is the rise in the cost of production because of increased production, unless and until that is met, I would not be tempted to produce more. And to cover this, I have to sell at a higher price. Right? I mean, there is no sense that I produce it, keep it in stock, incur an additional cost because variable cost, as you know, increase with the production. So if there is an increase in the variable cost, which is arising because of production of higher number of quantity, then when I would ideally increase the price to recover those costs. 